Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solving systems of three equations with substitution. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, x equals 3y minus 3z plus 8, z equals 4x plus 5y minus 14, and 3y plus 2z equals 14, and we want to solve the system by substitution. First thing I'm looking at is I have z here by itself, and it's equal in terms of x and y. This x is in terms of y and z, so if I combine the two, I just have an equation now in terms of z's and y's. So second equation, z equals, I'm using blue, my other marker was dying, z equals, well, 4, and instead of x, I'm going to put in this whole big top equation, 3y minus 3z plus 8. Then we have plus a 5y minus 14. Woof. Well, let's simplify this. So z equals 4 times 3y is a 12y. 4 times a minus 3z is a minus 12z. And 4 times an 8 is a 32. And we bring down the 5y minus 14. From there, let's combine our like terms where we can. Okay. So z by itself here, and we have, well, a, uh, what, we, what can we combine here? Okay, we have 12y and a 5y, 12y and 5y give us a 17y, and negative 12z is the only z1 on this side, so let's keep that here, negative 12z. And last we have our numbers 32 and minus 14, and that comes out to be an 18. Okay. Well, let's bring the z over. I'm going to get y by itself. So let's bring z over here, and we have 0 equals a 17y, and then we subtract a z, and we have minus 13z plus 18. We then can subtract a 17y to both sides, so we have negative 17y equals a negative 13z plus 18. And getting dividing both sides by negative 17, y is completely by itself here. And negative 13 divided by negative 17 makes it a positive, so we have positive 13 seventeenths, seven, a z, not 7, z, minus, minus, oh, this is 18, whoops, <laughs> messed up there, minus 18 over 17. All right, so we have y by itself. It's kind of a gnarly equation, but we got to keep going. So then we look at our third equation here, okay, and we can plug this y in for this y here, and we have an equation with only z's. So, we take 3, and instead of y, we put that whole equation we just found, 13 over 17, z minus 18 over 17. Then we plus a 2z here, equals 14. And now we have to solve for z, or we can't, and we're going to do it. Multiply 3 to both parts here, and 3 times 13 over 17 is 39 over 17 z minus 3 times 18 is 54 over 17 and then we have plus a 2z equals a 14. From there we want to well combine our like terms where we can and we want to rearrange this and uh, add them together so 39 over 17z and I bring this 2z over and 2z in terms of the same fraction it's the same thing as 34 over 17z then, make sure I follow my notes here correctly, and then we have minus a 54 over 17 here equals 14 in terms of 17 oh, is 238 over 17. So now from there, let's combine our like terms. 39 over 17z plus 34 over 17z is 73 over 17z. And then we add a 54 over 17 to both sides, and we have a 292 over 17 here. All right, now we can multiply both or multiply both sides by 17. They cancel out, so we have 73z equals 292. Then divide both sides by 73, and z is now by itself. And 292 divided by 73. It's good old four after all of that. Isn't that nice? Well, sometimes when it becomes a nice, neat answer, you kind of know that you did it right. All right. We have z by itself as four. 
but we can use this equation here to uh, get y by itself. We're going to answer for y. So we have y equals 13 over 17 times z, which is 4, minus 18 over 17. 13 over 17 times 4 is a 52 over 17, and we minus 18 over 17 here. 52 over 17 minus 18 over 17 is a 34 over 17, and 34 over 17 is equal to 2. So we have y equals 2 now, z equals 4, let's go find our x. And that involves the first equation here. We have x equals, okay, and I'm going to plug in, well, 2 for y, so we have 3 times 2, again, that first equation right here, 3 times 2, minus 3 times our z value, which is 4, plus 8, okay? So let's simplify where we can here. X equals 3 times 2 is 6. 3 uh, times 4 is 12, minus 12, plus 8. Combining all that together, X minus 12 plus 8 is a positive 2. So we can write this as a coordinate point here, as X is 2, Y is 2, and Z is 4. And there we have our final answer. X is 2, Y is 2, and Z is 4. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math.